when Mother Nature shakes, which dam holds its ground, GERD or Aswan? Let's dive into the world of dam construction and seismic safety. The Aswan High Dam is a bit like an aging athlete. Built with older techniques, it sits close to the Kalabsha Fault Zone, about 100 kilometers away, making it more prone to seismic jabs. On the other hand, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, is the new kid on the block. It's crafted from roller-compacted concrete, standing tall on sturdy metamorphic rock, and is 600 to 700 kilometers away from major seismic zones. GERD's engineering is like a fortress, using advanced techniques like the demand capacity ratio methodology for seismic resilience. In case of an earthquake, Aswan's location near fault lines could lead to downstream flooding, while GERD, although safer from quakes, could still pose catastrophic risks if it ever fails. In the battle of the dams, GERD might be the safer bet against seismic threats, but both need vigilant monitoring to protect what's downstream. Stay curious, stay informed.